Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we finished with the selection screen part or input screen part. Now we will proceed further. Now we need to write the logic. Means we will write the logic to fetch data from how many table? Three tables. What are those three tables? VBAK, VBAP, and MAKT. Now, I will not write the logic in the program. I will use modularization techniques to write the logic, and I will use those modularization techniques inside the program. That is always, always the best practice in the project. Yes, always, always make use of modularization technique. Once we will proceed this for this data declaration and for this selection screen or input screen part also, I will go for modularization technique include program. We all know whenever we have huge data declaration, always, always go for include program modularization technique. I will go for that also. Whenever our program is on the verge of completion, I will use modularization technique for this part also. Now for the logic, logic means to fetch data from the three tables, I will not write the logic here. I will write the logic in the function module and I will call the function module inside the program. After that, same to same thing, I will show you through class method also because at the last, it is totally your wish. You want to go for function module or you want to go for class method because our usual ABAP class method, it is just like a function module, but we will cover both the parts. Now, firstly, I will go to function module. Now, whenever we want to create a function module, the first thing we should always, always create a function group. What is function group? It is a container for the function module. In the app programming playlist, we have almost 17 to 18 videos on the function module. So you can learn from there also. Anyways, we'll go for full explanation here also. So firstly, we will create function group because whenever we want a function module, the first thing we should create a function group. Now, what is the transaction code to create a function group? I will create through SE80 transaction code. With the help of SE80, we will create a function group and why, why we are creating? Because it is a container for the function module. The first thing, we should create a container. For the dropdown, I will take function group. Now, again, instruction document always, always play a vital role because every project has this, has this kind of document. And whenever you create anything, just check what are the naming convention which that project is following? Suppose for the function group, the naming convention is ZFG underscore relevant name. So I will give this name. Suppose I will give ZFG. Suppose underscore sales ORD. I will press enter. Now system is asking, do you want to create a function group? Yes, I want to create a function group. Now, always, always give a meaningful description and it is mentioned in the instruction document also. Always give meaningful name and description. So suppose I will give 
function group for sales order details i will go for save now i will not store as a local object i will store into the package i will store into the transport request so that we can move it to quality and production because it is just like a real project work so i will go for the package whenever i will go for package yes anyways right transport request is appearing i can predict by description but you can always make a practice that you will go for own request button and you can choose the right transport request so in this transport request we are storing our function group also now never never forgot to activate the function group because this is the most common mistake which we are doing and because of that we are getting the syntax error while creating the function module so please please activate the function group always how we will activate i will right click and i will activate now yes function group is a container for the function module next time i will not create function group always in this function group itself i will store the other function modules yes because in a function group you can store up to 99 function module 99 function module so every time i will not create separate separate function group if i think yes these are the same purpose function module so i will store into that function group itself anyways that is already covered in very much detail how we can go for 99 function module so you can refer the playlist of apap programming now now function group is read now we will go for the creation of function module what is the transaction code to create a function module se37 now i will give some name to the function module again instruction document we should always always follow and what is the naming convention to create a function module zfm underscore relevant name so now i will give zfm underscore sales ord suppose i will give this name i will go for create now pass the name of the function group which we just created so i will pass the name of the function group which i created and i will give a meaningful description function module to display the sales order details i will go for save okay now i will activate this function module so now my function module is the part of function group if i will show you the function group we will be able to see the function module see as of now i am not able to see the function module inside the function group if i will refresh you can see we are getting one more thing function module and you can see our function module is the part of this particular function group and if i will show you my package in the package because the first thing we created the package in the package if i will show you in the package we have the program and we have the function group and inside the function group yes anyways we have the function module so see whatever we are creating we are storing into the package and yes 
because we want to transport to other system. So we are storing into transport request also. Now we will proceed from here. Now, in this function module, we all know whenever we want to give input, we will make use of which tab? Import tab. Whenever we want output, we will make use of which tab? Export tab. And in the source code tab, we will write the logic. As of now, these three tabs are applicable. Import for input, export for output. And in the source code tab, we will write the logic. Just see how many inputs you have. You have input is how much? Two input. One is for what? Creation date and created by. It means for this function module, how many input? Two input. Creation date and created by. And what will be the output? Output of how many column? If you see, we have the output of these six columns. So for this function module, Two input and output of how many column? Six column. So in this function module, after taking the input and output, we will write the logic in the program. And you all know whenever you want a output from the function module, it means we will simply simply pass it to which particular parameter which is in the export. Because export stands for what? Output, output. So whenever our function module will be ready, after that, we will call the function module inside the program. Because customer will not run the function module. Customer will run the program. So whatever the date and time you will pass from this program, we will simply, simply pass it to what function module. In the function module, we have the logic. It will return the output of how many column? Six column. And in this program, we will get the output of six column. Now, in the next video, we will start with the taking two input parameter. One, two input parameter one output parameter which is of six columns yes and in the source code tab we will write the logic so in the next video we will focus on this function module part so that's it in this particular video if i will go for the summary in this summary we discussed yes Never, never blindly write the logic. If it is possible, always, always use modularization technique. And for our logic part, we will firstly go for function module. Then we will go for class method also. So as a part of function module, the first thing we created the function group through SC80 transaction code. Function group is a container for the function module. Do not forget to activate the function group. After that, we created the function module. We stored the function module inside the function group. Yes. And after that, we discussed, yes, there will be two input to the function module and one output parameter to the function module, but that output has six column, six column, yes, because our output has how many column, six column, and in the source code tab, we will write the logic. In the next video, we will start with the function module. So that's it in this video. Thank you.